As explained in the bookmap user guide on page 50, the quotes counter column, the CQC, displays the number of quotes refreshed at each price level. Green represents the refreshed buy quotes and red are the refreshed sell quotes. Quotes counter can be displayed by session accumulated as SQC or chart range accumulated as CQC. Session accumulated displays all quotes refreshed at specific price levels for the entire session from the moment you opened bookmap. Chart range accumulated is for all quotes currently displayed within the visible bookmap chart. So if I change the visible range by zooming in or out, then CQC will update the refresh quotes to reflect the data for the new visible chart range. In this short video, we'll demonstrate how to use the CQC levels to support trading decisions at the point of entry or exit. The easiest way to explain its potential use is by example. Let's set up a chart of FGBL, the German Bund contract, so that the heat map screen is showing us 10 minutes of price in the level 2 interaction. Also, open a CQC column and format it to show bars and numbers in a cumulative display format as a profile. Also, click Chart Range Accumulated button so that the CQC will effectively show you all quotes refreshed or changed in bids and offers for the past 10 minutes dynamically. This means that the 10 minute moving window of data is showing all quotes that are either added or removed from visible bids and offers for only the last 10 minutes. Immediately, what transpires is that some price levels are showing much bigger numbers and changes than others. The profile of this activity will show areas of low numbers and areas of high numbers, in essence, very similar to the standard volume profile of executed trades. Don't forget, these are only quotes showing potential intended trades. For example, they are not executed trades and they are changing constantly. The widest level, the highest number of quotes changed, is frequently very distinctive, just like the point of control in volume profile terminology. And this creates a distinctive step in the profile above and below the quote's point of control. So questions to be asked are, why is the level attracting so much activity of adding and removing bids and offers? Are these big changes executed by individual traders, which is unlikely, or by machines? How is price behaving around its quote's point of control? Sometimes it acts as a magnet for price to come back to, while other times it is a launching point from which momentum starts and continues to the outer edges of the profile. Let's look at some examples at distinct turning points. I'll use bookmap's replay mode to show these examples. The market is sideways. Note the location of the quotes POC at this point here. Now let's watch as price action unfolds. As I scroll forward, price starts to move down. The quotes POC we noted supports the direction of price from above. Let's continue on. Another few minutes pass, and a new quotes profile is forming at this level here. However, it is still smaller than the POC at the area above here. Therefore, it is not supporting price in the opposite direction yet. As we continue forward, notice how a totally distinctive new quotes POC is forming at this lower level. Now price breaks down again, and our new quotes POC supports price direction. And now we can see price is stopping and moving sideways around this 160 0.25 quotes POC. Suddenly, price breaks above the quotes POC at 160.26 and now supports long trades. Noticing these new POCs and turning points supports price in new directions. There are many ways to profit from this data. 
It's really up to your trading style. As previously mentioned, you can look for returns back to these POC areas or consider price momentum and discovery from the POC levels to the outer edges of the profile. It's really up to you.